Hi y'all, welcome to my sewing area. Uh, today we're going to be working on the Milk Pail Quilt Block for the Farm Girl Quilt. And um, this is the sample piece that I did for the last video. Um, looks kind of cute, uh, but I got to looking at it and I didn't quite like, um, like it as much. So I played around with the pattern and I came up with this one here, which I actually like a lot better. Uh, it's better, um, you got bigger colors here in the center and um, got the um, part of the milk pail on the bottom. And uh, so I'm going to show you today how I did this one. Okay, here we go. Um, this is my variation for the milk pail. Um, as you can see, I've got the um, nine patch here in the center. And then I've got um, a, a block to go along the bottom for the bottom of the milk pail. I've got um, pieces for the sides. And then I've got the lid and handle and the lid piece here. So I'm going to show you how we stitch this together. First we're going to start by stitching your nine patch together. Um, you know, take your pieces and stitch them all together. You know, and then uh, so I'm going to do that and press it and then uh, we'll be back and sew on the bottom piece here. Okay, y'all, so now we got the nine patch all stitched together. You stitch each in the rows, and then you stitch the rows together there, and I'll press down. So, as I said, I played around with the pattern for the uh, milk pail, and um, basically came up with my own pattern. So, using the two and a half inch squares, um, pre, you know, pre-cuts for the nine patch, and then this bottom piece of the milk pail is a two inch by six and three quarters long. So now we're going to stitch that here along the bottom with the quarter inch seam and uh, we'll be right back with the next step. Okay, that was quick. We just did the one seam here and now the next step I do is setting up these side seams. Move these out of the way. And you see how they match up end to end here. So um, this is eight and a half inches long by one and a half inches wide. And again, you're going to use the quarter inch seam. So we'll take those over to the sewing machine, stitch those down. And then um, it's really important that you press all your seams open. Um, it really makes it a lot easier to do the quilting, um, for those of you who don't know. Um, so I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine, and um, I'll show you what it looks like when we come right back. Okay, now we got the sides stitched on here, and it all pressed down nice and flat. Um, so the next piece you're going to take is your wider piece for like the lip and handle of the um, of the milk pail. Going to um, find the center of each of these. Let me grab a pen here. So I just I fold it in half and then put a pin right there at the center mark. And then we're going to match that up with the half mark here, just kind of eyeball it right there. It should be about right there. So we'll pin that here, and then we'll take this to the machine and stitch it um, a quarter inch seam here, and then that'll fold out, you know, really nicely right there. Um, this piece is two and a half inches wide, and the the points is uh, about eleven and a half inches. Um, so, and then you just cut cut along the um, a 45 degree for the corners here uh, but it's two yeah two inches by eleven and a half so I'll take it in the machine and we'll be right back okay so we got the lip on for the milk pail here see how it's all lining up really nicely and then um, this is one and a half inches by ten and a half inches at the wider corners and then I mitered them cut them at a 45 degree angle there. So we're going to turn this down and line it up, uh, match it up here point to point and we're going to stitch this down and then when we press it it'll come up to look like that. Okay. So I'll do that and then I'll show you what it looks like for the last couple steps. Okay, so here we are with all the pieces stitched together. We got the lid here and then we got the lip with the handles right there. Um, side pieces and your center nine patch all put together, pressed out. 
And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to trim up these little um, little strings that kind of came off, came out, just to make it a little bit easier to stitch on. I'll finish that in a minute, but I'm going to applique this to the 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch block. Um, I'm going to match it up here at the bottom and center it. And then that way it's going to look like the milk pail is sitting on the ledge when I get it all finished up. So I'm going to put sashing around all four um, sides of each of these blocks. So it'll look like it's sitting on the, sitting on the shelf or something. But anyway, I will, I'm going to applique it along the sides just around the outer edge of the milk pail here. And then I'm probably going to base stitch it um, you know, just on the edge right here just so it doesn't flop around and everything be easier to when I put on the sash and put the quilt together. So anyway, that's the block and I'll be right back. Um, I'll show you what it looks like after it's all appliqued. Um, and then we'll give you a little sneak peek of the next block we're going to do. Okay y'all, we're all done with this one now. We've got the milk pail appliqued to the 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch um, white background block. And um, got it stitched down here at the edge, um, so to help when I'm sewing it to the sashing. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and um, if you have any questions, you know, leave it in the comments below, and uh, I'll try to answer as soon as I can. Um, so y'all have a good day. Okay, here's my sneak peek for the next block I'm going to work on. Uh, it's, these are uh, posies, a um, block called Posies in a Row. Um, so it's two two flowers in the one 12 by 12 block. I hope y'all will join me for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and have a good day.